Living in America, my feeling is when you're making a dinner, it's not really about how much time you're putting is to get dinner ready to the table, you know. But in China, when I grew up, it's not just putting the food on the table, it's how to make the food delicious. And the food, it was so important for Chinese people. For myself, I, I really think is you have to put in the love and the steps and the effort to make the food. Hi, I'm Linda Huang. Welcome to the Hummingbird's Kitchen. Even now in China, it's still very common. My mom's still living in an old lane house and with a shared kitchen. And I grew up in that kind of environment. And there's no original Shanghainese and people is moving from all different provinces and area. So I grew up in a kitchen with almost every day there's so many different dishes cooked. This is a very special in China. You have like the housing shortage, so everybody peacefully shared the kitchen. So everyone had to be very creative and to use the limited source to make meals for family, you know. I always get this question, what's the authentic Chinese food? I always say I have no answer because the Chinese food it has so many variety, different area, even different village will have their own take on food, you know. So that's why I start a pop-up dinner monthly to uh, I have one or two dinners to present different region of Chinese food. And I think when you had something really good, you always remember it's somewhere you stored in you, you know. I actually think about back to my childhood and think those memories even almost just like go back to the memory to find the flavor and sometimes I hesitate to bring really authentic Chinese flavor to the table to the people because I don't know how people can react but surprisingly people are so open to also new flavors and I have able to make the food is more authentic Chinese food. They always say after the dinner, make me want to cook. So this experience is not just a, you serve the food, it's more like an inspiring people. And I feel the special experience is people not just having a dinner and they will bring this home and kind of like inspire them to their daily cooking. It's really, to me, it's a big joy part of my life. From when I started prepping food and to serve to people to leave, even after cleaning, it's a joy for me. I'm always looking for a better way to cook the food and it comes with lots of practice. Like there's a one particular food we call soup dumpling. It's a Chinese dumpling, has soup inside and that's original from Shanghai. So this soup dumpling, especially the wrapper, is paper thin. The standard is you have to put on the light and you can see through. So when I start doing dinner, I want people to be able to taste such a unique food. But for three years now, I'm still trying to make this perfect. And so I'm, I'm working on this to make it's the same taste and texture you can have in Shanghai. But this is something I was able to do here, you know, it's still my signature on this particular style of the food. I always grow up like being taught, being humble. So that's a very traditional Chinese way to teach your kids you need to be humble. So I always want to be in my own zone to do the food. So I never really try to get any recognition. You know, and also for me, I don't, I don't like to compete. And I don't compete in any kind of environment uh, also, you know. And I always want the people who surround me and uh, work with me will be in very calm environment. Because I do believe when you're very calm and then you can think about the food, you actually can feel the ingredients and then Seriously, I, I do believe people can taste their food from who you are or from the love, you know. So sometimes we say, oh yeah, the food with love, it's kind of a big word, but it's actually true.